Hello guys, welcome to Physics Hub. Today in this video we are going to talk about magnetostatic boundary condition. You know in electrostatics we have electrostatic boundary condition which is a very important topic. In the same way in magnetostatics, magnetostatics boundary condition is also a very important topic. This is a little bit complex as compared to the other topics but many questions came previously from this particular topic. So let's talk about this magnetostatics boundary conditions. I will try to make it as simple as possible so that you can easily understand the whole topic and you are able to answer questions in the examination. So what happens in magnetostatic boundary condition? So here we consider, consider a boundary. Okay. So let's take a boundary like this. This is the boundary. And <clears throat> in electrostatic we consider the boundary between two media. So here also we have two media. One media is media one. Let's say and this is media two. And this boundary, this surface is separating these two media. In electrostatics, we consider that the separating me, uh, separating surface was containing some surface charge sigma. So here, in case of magnetostatics, we the analogous thing is surface current. Surface current is denoted by K. So this is the surface current which is flowing over the surface. So first of all, what we want to do, we are going to consider a peel box type thing. In electrostatic, we consider some Gaussian peel box is standing above and below the surface. So here also we are considering a peel box. Peel box, this peel box is uh, said to have length negligible. So although for visualization purpose, I am showing you this much thick, this is above portion and it is equally extending below the surface. So the dotted or dashed line so that it is extending below the surface. So this is the peel box. Now <coughs> you know the magnetic field above the surface this is B above okay B above and magnetic field below the surface B below. this is we are considering the perpendicular component perpendicular component. If you remember in electrostatic we talked about separately the tangential component and the perpendicular component of electric field in this case also the magnetic field will have two components one is the tangential component b parallel another component is b perpendicular right so in electrostatic we have seen that the parallel component of electric field was continuous and perpendicular component was discontinuous here the reverse thing is applicable here the perpendicular components are continuous so the first boundary condition here is B1, B perpendicular above, is equals to B perpendicular below. Now what about this? This can be proved by taking this uh, peel box. We can easily prove. Look, since integration of B dot dA, this is how much? This is 0. Why it is 0? Because you know that uh, from Maxwell's second equation, divergence of B is equals to 0. Okay, how this corresponds to this? We can utilize uh, the divergence theorem. You know this thing integration over surface a dot ds. This is equals to surface integration a dot n cap ds. And let's rub it for the timing. This is equals to how much using Gauss uh, divergence theorem? V divergence of a dv. Now as divergence of b is equals to 0, so you can consider a like b, so this one should be 0 and this thing led us to this b dot da. Okay? So if you consider this pill box, it has how many surface? One surface is this above, below, this, this, this and uh, how many surface 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay if you see here b perpendicular above is in parallel with this area direction so b perpendicular above in the area area and here b perpendicular below and the area direction you can see they are opposite so b perpendicular below into area so a negative sign is appearing so, B perpendicular above minus B perpendicular below and other, other surfaces are contributing because the angle between the surface and the magnetic field directions are 90 degree. That is why we get this first boundary. I hope you understand this. 
If you don't understand, you can let me know in the comment section. I will try to explain it more. But this is so straightforward. I am just not writing. So this is the first boundary condition that the perpendicular component is continuous at the boundary. <coughs> now, what about the parallel component? So to get the idea about the tangential or parallel component, what we are doing, we are taking an Amperean loop. Okay, the Amperean loop is taken perpendicular to the direction of current flow. So you can see the direction of current flow is this. So in the perpendicular direction, we are taking an Amperean loop like this, Amperean loop like this, and this is uh, you can consider that it is perpendicular. Okay, so we have to consider it in 3D to get it to get the visualization. This is the portion which is lying above the surface, and below the surface, it is lying like this. Let's say the direction is like this. This length is L. Okay. Now here we can utilize this relation integration B dot DL. B dot DL is how much? This is from Ampere's law. We can write mu naught I enclosed. This is from Ampere's law. Ampere's law says this B dot DL is mu naught I enclosed. So B this is B parallel, you can consider this to be B parallel above and this is B parallel below. So you can see this B parallel above and this line, this line is in parallel. So the dot product will be producing B parallel above into L. Okay. And for this, it is making an angle 90 degree, so cos 90 is 0. <coughs> so the, this, this part is not contributing. Similarly, this part is not contributing, but this part will contribute. But here, the direction of B parallel below and the direction of the length is in opposite direction. So negative sign will appear B parallel below multiplied by L. This is equal to mu naught I enclosed. I enclosed, what is the current enclosed? The surface current is given current per unit length perpendicular to the flow. So we can write it as K into L. So LL cancels from both sides and from that you can write, you can write B parallel above minus B parallel below is equals to mu naught K. Okay. So this is the second boundary condition. So we can say that the parallel component of magnetic field is discontinuous and the amount of discontinuity is mu naught K. Now these two conditions, conditions for perpendicular component and condition for parallel component. They can be combined into a single formula. So I'm giving you that general formula. The general formula for the binary condition can be written in this way. General formula, it is B vector B above minus vector B below. This is equals to mu naught times K is a vector cross N cap. N cap is a vector which is uh, directing outward from the surface. So this, these are the conditions for magnetic field. Now in electrostatics, in addition to the electric field, we also talked about the scalar potential V. Here also, the analogous thing is magnetic vector potential A. And for this kind of surface separating between two media, the vector potential is found to be equal. A above is equal to A below, means the magnetic vector potential is continuous across this surface. Means it's both parallel and perpendicular component. Normal component and tangential components, both of them are continuous. Okay. So let's summarize this whole thing. Then it will be very much clear to you. Let's summarize everything. So <clears throat> this is what we have. A surface separating between two media. Oh, I'm just rubbing it up, everything. Okay, let's rub it everything. How many things we have in total? We have magnetic field B. We have magnetic vector potential A. These two are vectors. So they will have tangential component, tangential component, B parallel and normal component, a perpendicular component, B perpendicular. A will also have similar manner tangential 
and normal no issue now as i told you this is continuous normal component of magnetic field continuous this is discontinuous and here both normal and tangential components are continuous so i hope after this video you will not have any confusion if you have any confusion if it has you can let me know in the comment section if you are new to this channel please subscribe to the channel don't forget to press the bell icon finally thanks for watching an academy is india's one of the largest teaching learning platform you can prepare for various competitive exams like cs and net gate test iit exam tfr etc especially if you are preparing for cs and net physical science you can join me on an academy plus you can utilize our referral code physics hub for getting the maximum benefits while taking the subscription one subscription will allow you to watch the live and recorded classes of all educators of all time including me you will get all the nine units covered under physical science categories for csr net examination to take the academy plus subscription today at put your feet once to ride towards reaching a goal thank you